AP Calculus AB Power Rule Practice Problems. Here is the power rule. Look, when you take the AP exam, this will not be a question. They will not say to you, what is the power rule? They'll just expect you to be able to use it. So I had a lot of people say, oh, I know what the power rule is, or I have it memorized. Great, but make sure you have it memorized in anticipation of using it, not in anticipation of them asking you what it is, because they're not going to ask you what it is. Okay, good. Sorry if I sound like a jerk. I'm really not. I swear I'm not. I'm a good guy. And if you know me, you know that's a lie. Keep it to yourself. So if y is equal to 7 over 3x cubed, what's y prime? So what's y prime? Well, probably you're looking at this going, how the does this have to do with that? But it really does. Look at this for a second. Let me see if I can reveal this to you. What if I looked at this as a constant multiplier and say, you know what, this is 7 thirds. So what if I rewrote this this way? What if I said that y is equal to 7 thirds? That would give me 1 over x cubed. But we, can, I think we can agree that that's the same as x to the negative third power, isn't it? Now I think we can apply this rule. So we have to be able to rewrite. So now I have it in the form that we can use this rule. So, how do we do that? Well, we do negative 3 times 7 thirds, which would equal, so let's just do y prime, is equal, wow, that's terrible. y prime is equal to negative 21 thirds x to the negative fourth power. Well, hopefully, you can look at this and say that negative 21 over 3 is negative 7 and x to the negative 4th is x to the 4th and here we have here we have our derivative all right let me grab one more real quick for you what i'd like you to do now is to turn this to pause the video is actually to re, to write this then pause the video and work this problem out and come back and see if you come to the same answer as I did to find f prime at x. Okay, so I'm. A, what if you really did pause it? How cool would you be? All right, good for you. I'm going to look at this and say that f of x to me is the same as 4 fifths x to the negative second power. Now I'm going to apply the power rule to that. And we have negative 2 times 4 fifths is negative 8 fifths. We're going to decrement this exponent, so we're going to reduce it by 1. So minus 1 is x to the negative third power. Rewrite my 5 so it's more clear. Right? I'm going to go ahead and clean this up all the way and say that f prime at x is equal to the opposite of 8 fifths x cubed. And that's my answer. And that's what you should be able to do tomorrow when I see you in class. So good work, you guys. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Remember, you have to not only memorize these, you have to have these things memorized cold, like it's a separate language, but you have to be able to apply them. So this is us working on getting ready to apply these rules to some pretty cool problems coming up in the very near future. So make sure you're getting your fundamental stuff put away really well, okay? Thanks for watching.